Okay, welcome grade twos. We are going to take up your grade two math work for this week. And uh, again, it was review. It's, it's, it was actually, it would have been a quiz if we were in school, but I couldn't get you all back in class, not just me. All right, so uh, we're going to mark this up. We're going to use my blue pencil. Some of it's, uh, I'm not going to take up every question because I know you guys are very smart and you'll ask me any questions that you have. Count back by twos, 86, 84, 82, 80, 76. Count by fives. Um, they're not saying back, so you're going forward, 70, 75, 80. 85, 90. Uh, now you are going back by tens. If you wanted to, you could get a hundreds chart. 88, 78, 68, 58, 48. Um, if you do want a hundreds chart or a multiplication chart, just uh, send me a comment or a message. Ooh, this looks fun. Find the 10 that the number is closest to by using five. Find the 10 that the number is between, well, 81 is between 80 and 90. One is less than five. 81 is closest to 80. Now for me, I would have just said, look at number 81. Is it closer to 80 or 90? It's closest to 80. I would have done that, but uh, whew, that was tricky. Write the number that is equally close to 50 and 60. So what a number could possibly be between 50 and 60 and be equally close the number that's in the middle? Let's make sure though. I th think that's in the middle. So let's jump to 60. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Uh, let's jump 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yay! The number that is equally close to 50 and 60 is 55. Tricky word, equally close. Really, when they say equally close, they're saying what's in the middle. Okay, I hope that uh, is clear. You can always ask questions in the comments. Oh, circling dots. Um, 10 dots are circled. Estimate the closest 10. Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, ooh, actually 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I say it's 50. Now if I group them, yeah. nice lines, Mr. V. Okay, then I'm actually gonna get, right. One, two, three, four, five. So 50 was good. 53. Um, group by tens to check. Yeah. Okay. Pair up the faces. Okay. So two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. It's got that one left over, and that is odd. 
Okay. Write the next odd number. Okay, remember even numbers, we can have sets of two. So zero, two, four, six, and eight. If the one's digit is a zero, two, four, six, or eight, you have yourself an even number. You have yourself an odd number when the one's digit is one, three, five, seven, or nine. And, and that's kind of a rule. You just kind of need to memorize it. Zero, two, four, six, eight, even, one, three, five, seven, nine, odd. Write the next odd number. Well, be careful. Don't just go 36, because 36 is an even number. The next odd number is 37. The next odd number after 81 is going to be 83. Uh, write the even number before. Well, you have to be careful again. You can't just write 67 because it's before, because 67 is odd. It wants an even number, so we got to go to 66. And the even number before 90. First of all, it's tricky because you're going to 89. 89 is odd, 88 is even. Okay, uh, make a new addition problem by adding and subtracting two. Okay, so this is mental math. Solve the new addition problem. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make that eight into a 10. So I add two to that. I'm gonna take away two from here and I'm gonna get 52 plus 10 is 62. This is actually something I do, but it took a lot of years of practice. It's not grade two stuff, man. Glad I didn't say that out loud. Okay, I'm gonna add two to the 28. So that means I'm gonna take away two from the 16, and I'm gonna get the answer 44. Okay, so this is a tricky way of doing things, boys and girls. If you don't understand it yet, that's okay. Um, you will understand it if you just keep practicing. Uh, add by using a tens and ones chart. Seven ones and one ones gives me eight ones, uh, eight tens. Sorry, that's a horrible way to draw an eight. Five, nine. Write the number in many ways. Okay, so. Just think of the base 10 blocks. We could have four rods and four ones. Then we could have three rods and 14 ones. Well, this can pattern can continue. So we could have two tens and 24 ones. Sorry, one group of 10 and 34 ones. Or you could go to the container and just get 44 ones. Nobody does that. You'd get four tens and four ones. 49. So four tens, nine ones. Then we can go three tens, 19 ones, two, one, zero. Math is all about the patterns. Okay. If you want to see more of this, please just ask. But let's go on to the next page. Add, regroup when you need to. Well, 7 plus 9, well, that's 16. So I've got 6 in the 1s column and 1 in the 10s. I need to regroup. So I put the, the 6 and the 1. Okay, so that's like 1 and 6, 16. 7 plus 9 is 16. Okay, and now... I add 1 plus 5 plus 1, and I get 7. And this is sort of, this is the way that should make a bit of, make sense to you. And then this will start making sense to you in maybe grade 6 or 7. Okay, 3 plus 7 is 10. Ooh, 10. That's 0 in the 1s column and one in the tens column. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus one is nine. 
Okay. Okay. Write how many more or less and find the double. Eight plus nine is one less. And again, this is mental math. And when I do eight plus nine, I just do uh, nine plus one is 10 plus seven more is 17. So I don't use this method, but this is a method maybe you do like. Eight plus nine is one less than nine plus nine. Nine plus nine is 18. So eight plus nine is 17. Uh, nine plus eight, this is one more. All right? Because it's nine plus eight, this is eight plus eight. So that's that went smaller. So this is bigger. This is one more. Eight plus eight is 16. The answer is 17. Find 40 plus 41 using doubles. You would go 40 plus 40. And you really what you do is you go four plus four is eight. Put a zero behind it. It's 80. And you got this one that we left out and we need to invite him to the party. And we had 81. Okay, and so I did use doubles to find that. Uh, circle the easiest problem to solve. This one, I love solving problems with 10. Okay, when you make, get that number 10, the mental math becomes easier. Make an easier problem with the same answer. Yeah, 17 minus 8. So, oh, oh, I see what you mean. So instead of saying minus 8, say minus 10. So what I did is I added 2 here. So I have to add 2 to the, that's 19 there. Again, they're saying it's easier, but this type of mental math can sometimes be trickier until you get the hang of it. Okay, so don't worry if you're not quite getting the hang of it right now. Uh, 86 minus 7, 87. So we're looking at these two. This is one less. So 87 minus 7 is 80. 86 minus 7 is 79. Okay, and we did look at that um, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, subtract by using tens and adding. Okay. 73 minus 30. 30 to 70. Well, how big is a jump from the number 30 to 70? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. It's a jump of 40. 70 to 73, 43. Now this is a good technique, okay? This is Mr. V approved. It's called counting up. You start, take your 30, put it down here, and then you count up to the 73, okay? So again, you're gonna take your 28, and you're going to count up to the 94. And that's easy. It's 28 to 30, 2. 30 to 90, 60. 90 to 94, 4. And blah, 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 66, 66. Again, miss, this, is, this strategy is Mr. V, pure gold, four stars out of four stars. Oh, subtracting. Three, take away two, four, five. Trade a 10 for 10 ones. Okay. So instead of having four tens, I have three tens. And then I give the 10 ones to my six and he becomes 16 ones and 27 stays the same. 16 minus seven, nine, 
19. Okay, this is called, we're going to hear this word later, I'm sure, regrouping. Okay, decide if you need to regroup. Yeah, I do. I'm going to take a group of 10 from the 6. That's going to leave me with 5. And if I add 10 more 1s to the 7, well, I'm going to get 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, yeah, I needed to um, regroup. Do I need to regroup here? Yes. So I'm going to take a group of 10 from the 7. And that's going to give me, instead of 6 ones, it's going to give me 16 ones. 16 minus 7 is 9. 6 minus 4 is 2. Remember, the beauty of this is that you can pause and rewind and listen to the explanation again and um, double check your understanding. Otherwise, um, send me a, a, the page number and the question number. I'll give you your very own personal explanation. Are we already done? Holy moly, I didn't give you enough math work, grade twos. Circle the error Ted made. Show the correct subtraction. Okay, what did Ted do here? 38 minus 19. So, um, yeah, here's Ted's big problem. Ted is... Uh, uh, turkey or meatball. Let's go with a turkey. Okay, he needs, he can't just, he can't just make 818. He has to get a group of 10. And he gets his group of 10 from this three groups of 10. Now he can go 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. 19. And please tell me that I hit the broadcast button. Okay, let's check. Oh, I did. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to stop broadcasting. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, there's no bad questions. Uh, there's no uh, silly questions. Okay, thank you.